My, my, my. 34-20, them boys is in trouble. I'm going to give a full recap of the game. But, man, it that was ugly. Did not look good. Uh, we in trouble. Uh, I'm trying to hope, hold out hope as a fan, as a true fan, as a fanatic. But you dropped to, what, 1-5, I think, in the AFC, 0-3 in the division. And your superstar quarterback, your franchise QB, is hurt. Don't know the severity as you've seen him walking off the field. He said, uh, you know, we'll see. Can't really throw in a grip. So we'll find out severity here soon. Now, nonetheless, this game, it was, um, you know, it was it was pretty much a defensive game in the first half. Obviously, the Ravens got going in the second half, but you can tell how much Joe Burrow means to this team. Now, I'm not going to say it was all because of that, but you see how the defense kind of, I want to say changed, but they were doing a really good job. You know, 11 hats to the football, flying around to the ball, uh, limited the run. They only ran for 30 yards in the first half, right? So you can tell how much of a leader Burrow is. It's kind of like the team got deflated. As soon as he threw the touchdown pass to Joe Mixon, team got deflated. It wasn't the same, right? Um, so that definitely changed the game. And now we see what the Ravens felt like when they didn't have their superstar quarterback, Lamar Jackson, last year. Uh, they had Tyler Huntley. But pretty good game for Burrow. Um, I'm not mad at Jake Brown and putting in a tough spot. Didn't turn over the football, right? Was using his legs to extend plays. So I'm not really upset with him at all. Um, he did what he could. It's, that's a tough spot to be in, right? Let's be honest. Now, I'm going to talk about couple things. One, defensively, right? They got to be better, right? You see the importance. What this game showed me? The importance of Sam Hubbard, right? Run stopper, defender, can get sacks on the quarterback, QB hits. He's vital for the team, right? That's what that showed me. The young players on the defensive line are not ready to play. No disrespect, right? The um, Miles Murphys of the world, Joseph Asai, they're not ready yet. Because this is ample opportunity for them, and they're not making any impact, right? So they're not ready to play. Number two, what really stood out to me, the young secondary. They're going to take their lumps, right? But they're going to keep fighting and keep going. So I'm okay with Cam Taylor Britt. Well, obviously, Cam Taylor Britt got hurt and went out. But I mean, DJ Turner, you know, some of those plays he got beat, right? He's a rookie. That's going to happen. But his speed and his ability to kind of turn, locate the football, that's going to help going forward. I love that Jordan Battle started, right? Same thing. He's going to take his lumps. These guys are young. But it's a good thing they're young because you're going to be able to build on that, right? Going into, you know, going forward the rest of the season, they're going to get invaluable experience, right? Because they're going to come in and be the starter. So that's why I love getting that pick, that third-round pick. I think the second-round pick, Turner, the third-round pick, Battle, they hit on. You know what I'm saying? First-round pick remains to be seen. I'm not sold on him, to be honest. Miles Murphy, no disrespect. I'm not sold on him. So I like that. Battle's going to get better. Battle should start the rest of the way. I'm not going to lie. He should start the rest of the way. And uh, he should be um, the starter for them uh, going forward. He's better than Nick Scott. We, 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 we got to be honest there. But offensively, offensive line is not good. It's not. Um, I would say it's probably on the bottom end. Um, Jonah Williams has played better this year at right tackle. I think that's his natural position. Orlando Brown is supposed to be better for you. He gave up like three sacks tonight. A lot of pressures. He has to be better. He's getting beat. Now, I don't know if he's dealing with the injury or not because he was really good the first couple of weeks of the season, probably like up to week six, week seven. But he's been struggling lately, and you've seen that there. They have to all protect better. Cordell Wilson's getting beat right at the left guard position. He's not been great. Take care. I give him a shout out. It was their best-looking offensive lineman in this game. Calvin got beat a couple times. He was their best-looking offensive lineman. They got to be better, right? They got to be better. Now, one or two things are going to happen. Right now that Burrow's out, we don't know the extent. We will see to the extent that he's injured here shortly, either tomorrow or in a couple of days. We will see. Right. Two things are going to happen with Zach Taylor, and he calls the plays offensively. One, he's either going to get exposed, or two, he's going to adjust his play calling uh, to be more creative and dynamic and do some different things and mix some things up. Those are the only two things that are going to happen. And you don't got Joe Burrow no more. Right. We don't know the extent of the injury. He might be out a couple weeks. It might be the rest of the season. We don't know. But I'm, I'm banking on a couple weeks, right? So now you're going to have to devise a game plan, devise offensive play calling around the betterment of your team. And I've been saying this for the longest. Everybody talks about Joe Mixon, Joe Mixon. He had a pretty good game, right? 16 carries. They get 69 yards, right? Had a, 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 a receiving touchdown. Fee Mixon. That's my new thing now. Fee Mix, right? They were getting big gains all first half, first half, right? Second half was a little bit more tough sledding, but he was pivotal, keeping them in the game in the first half, right? And I tell everybody this, to say, oh, he's not the same running back. How can you be the same running back you don't get the ball, right? 
So going forward, right, you don't got your second best receiver, T. Higgins, right? So now you're going to devise stuff around Mixon. He's your next best player after Jamar Chase. Now the Burrow's not in there. So two things are going to happen. Like I said, either Zach Taylor's going to get exposed and they're going to show his shortcomings as a, as a coordinator or he's going to rise up and he's going to be able to call some good plays and be able to get this offense humming and moving. Now, I will say this about Zach. I don't hate him as a coach. I think he's a great coach for our organization, our franchise. I just don't like him as a car, as a play caller. I think he, he falls a little bit short in that end. Should let Brian Callahan call Brian Callahan call plays. But you know a good thing? We're gonna find out. We're gonna see what happens. But like remember, you can bookmark this video. He's gonna get exposed, or he's gonna show that he's adept and can call plays. It's one of the two. My last thing, just wanna give respect to the opponent. Shout out to the Ravens, big win. They're gonna move to eight and three now. Firm control of the AFC North. They should win the division this year. We won it two years in a row. It's one of the tougher divisions. Lamar Jackson had a good game, was banged up throughout. 264 yards, two touchdowns. They ran the ball well as well. Over 100 yards, a couple touchdowns from Gus Edwards. They did what they need to do. Ola Beckham, four catches, 116 yards. Um, he had a pretty good game as well. So they're in the driver's seat. This should be Ravens' year to be, be able to make a deep playoff run. That's why I took from this game. They look complete, all sides of the football, offensively, defensively. They should be able to make a run. They got a lot of players that can make plays. Marcus Williams, Kyle Hamilton, uh, Uwe on the outside, Roquan Smith, best linebacker in the game. This should be the year they make up a big playoff run. And they should be able to go beat these top teams. They should be able to go beat a Miami of the world. They should be able to go beat Kansas City Chiefs, right? They should be able to go beat Jacksonville, who's going to play in a couple weeks. They got the team to do it. This is their year to do it. So want to give them respect. What the respect is due. Um, and good game for them. They swept us this year. We'll see what happens uh, going forward. And last thing on my bangles, I'm going to conclude the video here. We are going to find out what they're made of. You don't got your star quarterback, right? I'm guessing the next couple of weeks, we'll see what happens with that. How will they respond? Resolve. You're, fa you're facing adversity. What will your resolve be? How will you come back? The second thing, they need to draft better in certain spots. Hit on your draft picks. That is important. And this game also solidified. Still made some good catches. Trent Irwin, give him props. He steps up big when he's needed. Tell a boy, did some good things in this game. Resign T. Higgins. He is your second best player or third best player on offense along uh, Jamar Chase. Tonight, you got a glimpse of what's life, what life is like without T. Higgins. Jamar Chase is going to get doubled, and you're going to need other people to step up and make big plays. T. Higgins gives that for you. So I hope that Duke Tobin was watching this game and saw, okay, hey, T. Higgins is valuable. Let's bring him back.